not say you full of cesium salami. Totally and baloney. Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hanger. This is Mike. Today I'll talk to you about the New Age 63EX Gorgo. They're calling it Flamethrower also. And this is their take on a very G1-esque toy version of Slag. Now, they've done some really good work with these dinos. This is yet another great dino that they've made. And they've also done some increases in their engineering to kind of overcome some of the issues they've had in the early days. I'll go into that as we talk about this, but I did get this at Chosey's store. I'll have a link down below where you can get yours. TH review code and support your reviewer if you want to help the channel out. But let's get in and take a look at this figure and hint, it's pretty good. We're going to compare it to a lot of stuff coming up. All right, here's the packaging and you know, I should look it up, and I wonder if this has the very G1-esque look because it is the EX, and the EX is supposed to be a toy. So I'm wondering if the cartoon has the different packaging. I think they do have different packaging for each one. But loving, loving, loving the G1-style packaging. Of course, you know I would. And uh, the only thing that would have actually ramped it up, obviously, is putting that back piece of, that back flap on there, which I don't really care for so much. But it would have been fun if the if they had like three or four steps of the transformation. That would, anyway, there's the packaging. All right, so here he is out of the packaging. And I got to say, he actually looks really, really good. Because this is the toy version, so they've got the shinier paint. And it does kind of mirror... It doesn't really mimic the vac metal uh, all over it. But it does have good vac metal right here on the front. And you got the clear part right there. And then the shiny silver... All around it it's semi shiny silver I guess you could say to be all accurate there but they've done a good job I think that it looks really good and I'm gonna say this as I've said it before so it's not really anything new but I do feel like New Age is winning the Dino Wars in the Legends scale there's have been my favorites although I Square does some cool stuff too these just look phenomenal especially the way they're painted the the toy the EX version which is what I want because it's reminiscent. It's one of the few things where I would pick toy over cartoon, and that's with the Dinobots. So it's uh, looking really good in there. But a couple of things I want to point out. So right out of the box, you do need to straighten up these back pieces here. And then this piece here uh, comes out. That's part of the jaw there. And you can open up the jaw. The head can... We'll get into articulation, but uh, in order to move the head around, it does have... A slider on it so you can get a little more range and stuff out of that head so that's cool right there but yeah it looks looks good overall uh, what I'd expect I actually would have expected this silver on the body a little shinier but the other chrome bits that they did that's actual back metalized I do appreciate it and I am gonna display these in bot mode so my ultimate judgment is gonna be bot mode I think I think that's back metalized too right there it's really shiny, whatever it is, uh, whatever they did for those claws. Let's go ahead and jump right into some articulation here. We can go side to side with the head. If you pull this out, you can go that far with that. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty cool. And then jaw can open and close. It's a little challenging to get the jaw open all the way. Uh, not all the way, but to get it started with opening it when it's all the way closed. It, it is a challenge to get you, Get that out uh, this vac metal these pieces kind of move in and out for the transformation but you can adjust that how you would like and then these go out to about here and would probably have the range of 360 it is his shoulder and that's how that works you do have articulation in the toes a little bit down and flat same thing on the back here out 360 and then you can get the I guess the knee and then you have one two three points of articulation at the tail and really there's in dyna mode there's not really a whole lot you can do with these things but there's there's enough it's enough in dyna mode let's see if we can get some side side to side nope 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 just it's just going side to side you're not getting tilt I do want to point out for accessories you're getting stuff for the bot mode nothing for this mode you got some hands and some sword and gun if you want the extra accessories, the fun accessories they put in each one, it's an incentive to buy each one. They make like six different versions. I've got two more coming. I got a clear 
and I've got the G2 coming. I did not get the cartoon because I'm doing the magic square in the cartoon, but the cartoon version of this has some sort of a clear, interesting accessory. All right, for the comparison, there's always gonna be somebody that's gonna be surprised by this, which it, of course it surprised me the first time I figured this out, but Legends Dinobots and Legends Minibots and a lot of the Legends figures are the same size as the original G1, and in this case, bigger than the original G1. So there it goes versus G1. One of the things I'm gonna be doing uh, going forward, probably 2025 projects, is going through my entire G1 Transformer collection and pairing up the weapons and accessories and stuff. So for comparisons, they look a little bit better. And having, of course, the best version of each, and sometimes it's uh, swapped in pieces out. But anyway, that's 2025 projects but there is the g1 where we're coming from where we're starting and where we're going do want to show how it's a little darker than what g1 did g1 went with sort of like a lighter gray and this is darker not sure why why they went so dark with it but i think they kind of did that with all of them so far but still it looks good and i just kind of want to show that and here it is next to magic square which i actually think it's bigger i think they've gone bigger than magic square has and that's interesting now, now this is magic square is my cartoon set and i'm going to keep them in dino mode so i've got plans got to make excuses and reasons to have multiple sets of dino bots right so there's my excuses and reasons and let's see what he looks like mixed in with a bunch of the new a or the magic square magic square's only given us the three so far and with that that's how it looks grimlock me Grimlock no see nothing and real quick just kind of getting the size of this guy with just bots in bot mode because here's the thing dino bots are 50 50 equal dino mode versus bot mode but I actually think displaying in dino mode is something that a lot of people do so you got to see how it fits with your other bots because I'd say less than 10% display prime in his truck mode all the time. All right, let's get down to the brass tacks. Let's get down to the transformation. Let's make sure I keep all this on screen here. So let's go ahead and just start moving some stuff around. Ah, disruptions. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up here to get the hand out. And as you can see, like it's gonna be shipped without the hand in there. So getting it out is going to be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Probably easier to get out when you have the, the hand counterbalancing it. Went off camera a bit. This little nub here helps you get it. It is super ultra tight. Super ultra tight. Ugh. But there we go. And then we'll plug the hand in when we're done. There's that. We're going to do that to the other side. And now they're both ready to go. Getting down here, we can go ahead and get the feet ready to go into here and same thing here we're folding that in fold this out get all that in ready to go there pop open this open this out and we're gonna need a little bit of coverage here so it's uh yeah you can hear that snapping uh, we need to open these flaps Make sure we have nothing in the way of the flaps here as they come out. It's all coming out okay. Fold in these fillers. These are fillers for the dyno mode. And then we're going to... I'm going to go ahead at this point and work on the lower part because I think it will be easier. Because it it's almost always easier to do the lower stuff first. Now... This is something sort of next level they're starting to do now is these fillers. So before they didn't engineer in the filler, they're engineering in the filler now, which is really good. I'm quite pleased with that. Lift the tail up and this, I guess this whole segment section is gonna come up here as we, okay, it's disconnected. That's there, moving that around. So we're bringing the leg out. Then let's come around here to the back and we're gonna fold this in like so. So really cool to hide all of this good stuff that's going on there. Then we're gonna fold the tail up. 
into here, fold the tip of the tail in. That tip, oh, you gotta flip it and fold it in. Flip it and fold it in. It goes right there. It goes right there, there it is. And since it's clear, it was hard to see, but you flipped it sideways. That's how that worked. Then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna tab it in. So there's a tab here that's gonna go into that slot. So you just have to line it all up and make it work. Did that all work? And then we're going to close the filler on it and do the same thing on the other side. And hello from the other side. There's a tab, it all holds in. So engineered way better than they had done this in the past. And did I get the everything I need with the toe? We'll see this on the other side. If there's more to do with the toe than what I did, we'll find that out. So let's, on this other side over here, we're gonna need to separate the leg here. Separate the tail. This is gonna come up and it's going to go around all of this. So we have this and I feel like we could do a little more in this foot area. Yep, I definitely did not do all the foot stuff that needs to happen over here. We'll mess with that at the end. That's something you can just do at the end. Solo on its own. All right, so we're gonna flip this around and make sure it fits into the shape of this. Then we are going to, there's no, so okay, so there's no um, tailpiece to worry about on this side. So this all just folds in and then this is going to fold up and it's going to tab in, tab it, tab it in. So, it's not tapping in for me. There it goes. It all kind of forms itself. Then this tabs, and then there's a tab here, which will solidify it really well. Now, okay, here's how this is gonna work. You're gonna take this toe, that's, it's like this in, in the bot mode. You take this toe, you're gonna open this up, and then you're basically just folding it around and then you're going to bring this piece out and it's shimmy it down just a bit so that you can put it in as like the bottom of the foot. Pretty simple stuff and then your toe is gonna go back to being a toe. A toe wants to be a toe. So the difference of before and after, it just cleans it up a little bit better. I guess we're gonna hide the QC thing. So do the other side. It's funny because it looked fine it's just adding uh, a little bit more to it, I guess. Just adding some more stuff to it. You can see the shimmy that has to happen right here. And boom. And then make the toe a toe again. So now we've got the lower, and we can stand them up, and we can raise up the camera a bit. Now we are going to up this Bring this up, fold this around, fold all this in, and then... All right, we're gonna have to do something with this section in the back here. So what we're going to do is push down on this chest piece, but you actually have to have it at the right angle here. I'm pushing it from the back to get it through. And then once you have that, that opened up, you're gonna have room to tuck this in and that's how that works so uh, that's pretty good now what we have left is to work on the back here and what we're going to do with this back piece fold this down fold these over and this is going to come down and these pieces are going to go into the shoulders we also have a slider so we've got to get all that adjusted do need to flip this around. Just put that up, tuck that down in there. And we're pretty much there. Uh, gonna pop the hands on and all that fun stuff and go from there. All right, so here he is in his robot mode and I think the robot mode looks really good. He's a good looking figure overall. And yes, I like this figure. So definitely a good looking figure and yeah, yeah, I think it's very clean from every angle and uh, they hid the kibble very well and now with them 
uh, including the engineering with this, the inside flap is there, the cover for the inside of the leg is there instead of it being an add-on later. So I like all that. I like how they've accomplished that. And yeah, pretty good overall. Now, looking aesthetically at this, I would think one thing. I would, I'm starting to wonder if I like the redhead or the blackhead. I mean, the blackhead is G1 accurate for the G1 toy, but I don't know. I'm starting to wonder what I like better, which is kind of cool if you're getting more than one set, you can customize your figure that you have on the shelf, the one you're displaying. That's something that you can do. Now, looking at him, he's got some really good paint apps on him, which was stickers back in the day. Paint app, paint app, and it looks like stickers, but they are paint apps. So that's really a lot of time and effort and stuff that went into it. Uh, you still have these from the bot mode on the back, of course, or from the dino mode on the back. Uh, you don't see as much as the vac metal in this mode because most of the vac metal is hidden right back here. So you see it from the side right here. Uh, the clear head's still visible and this piece here is visible. And you will be able to open this up if you had like a blast effect to put the blast effect on there, which I don't know why you'd need to, but it's a thing that could happen. And just cool how it looks in this mode. And uh, I still kind of feel like New Age is winning this. New Ages are the better, and I'm not, I'm a Magic Square guy. Like 90% of the designs, I like the Magic Square design more and the New Age paint and presentation. But with this one, pretty much all the dinos, I think I'm liking the dinos more from New Age with the paint presentation and now the engineering. And now my one complaint has been resolved. So yeah, pretty good. For accessories, we have the obligatory sword. We have more hands. I'm gonna show this. So when we, I guess when we get into articulation, we'll have already seen the splayed hands can move in and out, but we are going to need to put on holding hands to hold the sword. And it's as simple as just plug and play, you know? So that's nice and easy. That works. And I'm pretty pleased with that. The gun here, very quintessential slag gun. And yeah, all of this works really well. And I knocked that off trying to pose it, trying to push it out as if, no, the holding hands don't go in and out. So it is what it is. That's just how it is. And that's all he's got for accessories. I mean, yeah, that's, that's it. That's his accessories in a nutshell. And I'm okay with it. All right, do articulation with him holding all of his stuff. His head goes side to side, up quite a bit, and then down. And this can open and close to help with your articulation. You have a, just a straight 90, three, 360, really tight on a friction. And you've got the butterfly. So, of course, he can wield his sword and look like he's wielding his sword and all that. Butterfly is not too deep, but it is there. And it is definitely intentionally engineered in. You've got the bicep swivel. You have a double jointed elbow. And the hand side to side does not have the in and out on those, but does have the in and out on the slight hand. You do have quite a nice Magic Square style ab crunch but it's not magic sword. And then waist swivel, as you'd expect. You have the hiding hip flap at the hip, giving you that 90 right there, 90 right here. All of it's friction based. And you know, you can, this is something I never, I don't really see that much is that you can just flip that all the way around like that. That's cool. And then you have the, it is a double jointed knee. You can't get much range because of its, it gets in its own way. And then feet, as we saw with the transformation, how that was done. So you got quite a bit with that foot right there. Not much up and down, just mostly side to side to get the crazy side poses. For the comparison of these two characters, this is the G1. Next to, of course, New Age EX version. And, you know, I never really was a fan of the G1, this particular G1 figure. I, I didn't like the weird way that the tail worked, which I probably can do something better with the tail than what I'm doing here, but I just, I don't, I didn't like this. This tail's all in the way, and I'm sure I'm supposed to be doing something better with it. You don't have a tail on this, so yes, it's uh, it's 37 points of transformation instead of like five, five step process, but uh, this is just so much more advanced than the G1 and uh, so much fun. And if you don't have G1 Dinobots, you're like, well, I don't wanna spend whatever people are asking on eBay, I'm not exactly sure if this is cheaper than G1 Dinobots, but it's definitely a massive improvement and will fit in your G1 collection, scale-wise. 
So I didn't get the EX swoop. I regret that. I should have, but uh, would have, wish I would have gotten a clear one. I wish I would have gotten a whole lot of these different swoops, but I do like the way this team looks, and yeah, it's shaping up really nicely in the Dino team, and pretty cool. Pretty cool. Started with Grimlock, then went to Swoop, and you know, this is where we're at. So, what, we got one left? Bringing in Magic Square Prime and Arnhod. And so that's a lot of red on the battlefield there, but let's see how they look. And yes, that's how they look with these guys. Towering over Optimus Prime and Ironhide is correct scale. So these work. The David is a little smaller. I was considering picking up a David to show how much smaller. So if you're comparing it to the new age Optimus Prime, they're even more massive, which is still quite impressive. All right, so this is my look at the new age 63EX Flamethrower Gorgo. This is their take on a very toy G1 slag. I think they've done a really good job here. I do like the, the look of it. I kind of wish they would have gone a little bit lighter with the silvery. It's kind of more charcoal gray than a bright silver but it still pops and it looks magnificent they always present well they always paint their stuff well they always make these figures shine on the shelf and they are winning in the dino race that doesn't mean i'm not going to be filling out all of the magic square but these look really really good and the transformation they're engineering in more things like the panel cover flap and stuff to make it work and it does work really well and Really, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this. Maybe would have liked a red head option included. Would have been nice and helpful. There's not very many accessories. Again, I don't really gush over accessories, so I don't care if you get the bare minimum. Uh, and anything that he can't hold on display, to me, feels like too much. But I think it's a great one. And this is the toy version. Anyhow, I did get this to Shows you Storm. I have a link down below where you can get yours. If you want to help out the channel, TH in the Support Your Viewer section. And that way I can review more stuff like I've got two more coming I've got a clear and I got a G2 wished I would have picked up all of the clear and G2s but uh you know it is what it is like start somewhere with those and and let me know what you think about this in the comments below are you in on getting this are you a G1 collector are you going to integrate in your G1 are you going to get it just because you're a legends collector or you get it just because you like dinos today I'm hanging out Positive hot rod and cop close. B slag say you full of beryllium baloney. B Grimlock say you full of cesium salami. Beryllium baloney.